One of the questions that I get asked most often when it comes to shot scope products is actually around how to manage club tags. Now, if you are a user of something like the ShotScope X5 Golf Watch, the V5, the Kinex Tags, or indeed the H4 Handheld, then you will be using these devices to track your performance. And you do this by screwing these little club tracking tags into the ends of your grips, and then essentially you play your golf and afterwards you get access to a wealth of data and statistics about your golf game. For most users who stick to just playing with the same set of clubs, it's not really a bit of an issue, it's fairly straightforward. You set them up during the onboarding process and you just play your golf. However, if you decide to maybe change your irons, bring in a new set of wedges, swap your putter or get a new driver, then you need to properly understand how to swap those tags over so that the data is collected for your new club or new clubs and isn't still applied to the older or existing clubs. So I decided to make this video tutorial and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delve in to my shot scope setup here on my laptop using a web browser, but I'm also going to show you everything using the mobile app version in case that's something you're more familiar with. So what we'll do is we'll jump into my account and I'll show you generally how the my bag area works with your tags and your existing clubs. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at how to add a new club. We'll also look at how to swap those clubs out and we'll look at how to edit any clubs that you might have added if, for example, you've chosen the wrong make or model. I'll also explain a little bit more about how the color coding system works because that's something that often confuses users. And then we'll finish up by looking at how to delete one of your clubs from the My Bag area. Okay, so you'll see here I have logged into my ShotScope account. I've just gone to dashboard.shotscope.com and I'm gonna go up to my account at the top right here and click on My Bag. So this will basically take me into my uh, area where I can see my tags and also my unassigned clubs. So let's focus first of all on the right-hand side, this tags area here. Now this is basically all of the tags that you have in use. So when you buy a ShotScope product, you'll be supplied with a number of tags. I think the current version is perhaps 15, um, but I've got 16 in this box. It's around 15 or 16 tags. So each tag has its own unique number on the top. So for example, this is the H2 one, which is generally used for a hybrid. The D tag can be used for your driver, three wood for three wood, and then you've got tags for your irons. Now, those tags can actually get mixed and matched, so you don't need to use the D tag for your driver. If you wanted to, you could use the D tag for your five iron if you so wish. The only tag that you have to use for the purpose of that club is the putter tag, the P. That must be used on your putter and not anywhere else, but the others, you're free to go with whatever you like. So during the onboarding process, you will basically have been asked to set up your bag based on the clubs that you use. So for example, your D tag would be screwed into your driver, then you would have selected your driver make and model. Then you probably would have done your three wood tag, then any hybrids, and then worked through your irons. So this is generally what you will see here once you have set it up. You'll have your tags, and this section on the right hand side, this is your tags that are in use. If one is empty, that means that that tag isn't currently assigned to a club. So these other ones here, we'll see they are currently assigned, but I've got a couple of empty ones, driver, three iron, four iron, and these X tags, which are kind of versatile. You can use your X tags for whatever you like. So if I, for example, want to add in a four iron, what I can do is I can go into this left-hand side here where we have unassigned clubs. These are clubs that I have previously assigned but I'm not currently using. So what I want to do here is I want to put one of those back in and then what we'll do is we'll add a new club. So maybe for example, my Titleist D2910 driver is the one that I have in use. I'm gonna drag that across and drop it in the D area. So that's actually where it was, um, but I removed it for the purposes of this video. So this is my general setup here. But let's say for example, I've decided that I want to put in one of my four irons that I've previously used into the bag here, then I'm going to drag the four iron across. Now, if I've got loads of clubs in here, it filters by all, but I could filter it by irons, and then in here, I can pick one of them. So let's say, for example, I want to bring in this Callaway um, Apex Club, I can drop that in. So now, if I use my four iron, it's going to apply the statistics to that particular club. If I'm no longer using that one, all I do is just drag it and drop it out, okay? So that's how easily you can take clubs and you can add them or remove them if they have already been in play. 
Let's now look at that on the mobile so we can see exactly how to do that using the mobile version of the ShotScope app. So you'll see here I have logged into the ShotScope app. I'm going to go to more in the bottom right corner and then I'm going to choose my bag. So it will now load up my ShotScope bag and you will see under main tags, this is your tags that are in use. So here, for example, if I wanted to do the same thing to maybe remove a tag, then let's tap on the driver one, for example, and then I'm going to go remove club. Now, what you're doing there is you're not deleting this tag and all of its data. You're just removing it in the same way we did on the desktop by dragging it across. So when I tap accept, I've now cleared my driver tag for maybe applying another club. If I want to bring in the four iron like we did before, all I do is tap and then you'll see here we get suggested clubs at the top. So it automatically looks for clubs that I've used in that tag before. So we have three choices of um, four irons here. Let's tap on the Callaway Apex and you'll see it has now added that into the four iron slot. Let's go back to driver and let's also add in my Titleist driver. And then let's remove the Callaway by tapping on it and choosing remove club. So what we've done there is we've looked at how to basically add existing clubs to the tags area and also how to remove any that we don't want to use anymore. But what happens if we want to add a brand new club? So let's say I've gone out the weekend and I have bought myself a nice new wedge. So I'm going to go to add club and then it's going to say, okay, what type of club are you wanting to add? So I'm going to go into type and I'm going to choose wedge. Then under club here, it asks me what type of wedge have I added? Is it a pitching wedge, gap wedge? And we have all the various degrees. So let's say in this case, I've bought a 57 degree wedge. So I'm going to choose 57 degree wedge. And then we simply put the make and the model in. So you can search here. So I'll go for title list. And then let's say we have bought some SM10 wedges. Now you'll see there's SM10s. There's also Vokey SM10. And then you can go all the way down to different grinds. I'm going to go for the Vokey SM10 here. And then hit add club. So what will now happen is that club is going to be available. So let's go into wedges. And you'll see there's the 57 degree Vokey SM10. And just like before, we drag that one across into the X2 slot. So that's how you can easily add a new club. You just simply use the add club option and then you add it in. Let's now take a look at doing that on the mobile version. So we're still in this main tags area here, but this time, instead of clicking on an add club button, we first need to click on the tag that we want to add. So we're going to add X2 and then it says new club at the top here. That's what we're going to choose this time. And then we just basically go through the same process. So we'll say we're going to add a wedge, continue. Let's choose the type of wedge. So let's make this one a 59 degree so that we've got a difference between them. We scroll down to the continue button. Then we choose the um, make and model. So let's go for title list. There's quite a long list here. There is an option to add in your own, but most makes and models will be available. So let's locate title list, which is here, continue. And then I'm just going to go for the Vokey SM10 as before, continue. And then once we've done this, we're going to tap complete. And this time it has actually applied it to that X2, as you can see, 59 degree Titleist SM10. So let's tap on that one and let's go to remove club. So we've taken that one out. So that's how you can add a club if you want to using both the desktop version and the uh, mobile. But what happens if you've added a club and you accidentally chose the wrong maker model? So let's jump into wedges here. Let's take this 57 out and let's click on it. And then let's go into here so we can basically make the changes inside this club area. So I could maybe say, actually, it wasn't a 57 degree. It was a 55 degree. And then we save it and you'll see it has updated here. If we jump back to the mobile version, Similar sort of thing you need to do here. You basically tap on the X tag. Let's locate the club. So let's go back to that. We'll use the 59 wedge here. It adds it in. This time we then tap on it and we go to edit club. From here, we can then make the change. So let's say instead of 59, it was actually 51. So we'll select 51 and hit continue. And then it is going to ask us at this point, to then choose the make and model again. I think this is possibly a little bit of a bug or maybe a slight oversight from ShotScope. Um, let's just choose Titleist from this little list. Continue. And then we'll just choose the Vokey again. So let's go Vokey SM10, continue, save 
and safe. So we've now added that club back in and you'll see that it's now a 51 degree wedge. And let's remove that one just now. So, so far we've looked at adding clubs, we've looked at editing clubs, we've also looked at swapping clubs out. Let's now look at the colour coding that we have within our bag. So you'll see if I go back to all unassigned clubs and we'll have the tag view on the right hand side, there's lots of different colours going on here. Some of the tags have a yellow colour, some of them have black and some of them also have green. And then in this case there's also a blue as well. The reason for this is your tags will start off one colour. So your tags will always start off black the first time you add them. If you then add in another set of irons or another driver, it will then go to another colour, which in this case I think is probably yellow. From there, it will then go on to another colour, which I think is possibly blue, and then on to green. So every single time you add a new set of clubs, the tag colour will change. That's just basically to help you distinguish between them. So if I now want to swap out my Titleist driver, for example, if I take the driver and drop it down and then put this Stealth in, any tracking that is done from this point onwards is going to be applied to that TaylorMade Stealth driver, okay? But there's a bit of a problem because I've actually got rid of my TaylorMade Stealth, so I don't own it anymore. So how do I delete this tag? Because I don't own that product, I'm not going to be using it. Well, what we can do is we can click on it and you'll see that we have options to edit it here, but we don't have an option to delete. I'm going to take this tag and drop it into unassigned. I'm going to put my main driver back in. I'm going to go back into TaylorMade Stealth and you'll see I still don't have the option here, even though it isn't assigned to my tags area. However, if I go for one of those other clubs like the Titleist 55 Vokey, you'll notice here there is a delete option. So how come I have a delete option for that club, but not for the other? Well, the reason for that is you can delete a club tag, even if it's a tag that's been assigned, if that club has never been used to track a shot. If the club has been used to track a shot somewhere in one of your many rounds, you will not be able to delete it until you have either deleted the round that that club tag was used in and the, all of the shots where it was used, or unless you go back through every single instance of that club being used and change it to a different club. So you can only ever delete club tags if the tag hasn't actually ever been used for that club. So in this case, I can choose delete and that one will be deleted, but my tailor-made stealth is just going to have to stay unassigned until I go through all of the rounds and delete them, which I'm probably never going to bother doing. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So hopefully that video was useful for any of you who maybe don't have the knowledge of using tags or are a little bit confused about them and can now go and look at swapping tags out and maybe adding new clubs to your tags. The most important thing to remember is that your P tag always needs to be used for your putter. But anyway, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can receive any future notifications for any short scope related videos that I publish in the near future. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.